First truck bed rail bungee attempt. Let's see if this thing works. So I got a bucket here uh, full of gold ore. I'll be crushing that up on my other channel. Uh, but on the Tacoma bed here, we got these rails that slide back and forth. I'm gonna attempt to use one for the first time ever. What I'm trying to do is secure this bucket because I don't wanna be driving and sliding all over the place, dump over and lose stuff. All right, let's give it a shot. We got one bungee cord. Let's hook it up on the main tie down. All the way down there. Not perfect, but I think it'll stay in place. It'll keep it from sliding down. Drive that mountain, see if it holds. These tires and rims look right in place out here in nature. Got some super deep rut running, potentially high clearance issues for the stock truck. We're doing okay so far. But just barely, we're on a pretty good lean. And we got to venture through this section. I'm going to drop the camera in here to see how close I actually get. There it is. through didn't hear any rub it'll be interesting to hit the section once i have my two inch lip see what kind of difference that makes pretty tight trail might have gotten my first pinstriping Might be some kind of rite of passage or something, but it looks like I might have gotten my very first pinstripe. <laughs> Check that out. Aw oh, man. It's all downhill from here. Oh no, that's not good. I hit it. Wow, that's definitely no good at all. With a small tiny mount, this camera's only this high up off the ground. And it looks like we hit it. I wasn't expecting that. It'll be real interesting to check out that footage. 999 miles, we're about to hit a thousand. Boom, and we have it. There we have it, the truck's broken in. Ready to rip around and stop taking it easy. Let's see where we are right now. First day hooking up a trailer to the Tacoma. Shifting to reverse. Reverse camera came on. I'm gonna try to navigate and hook up the trailer by just using the reverse screen. I'm guessing that line right there is centered. There's my hitch ball you can see. Now I'm gonna veer, guide it in as best as I can, and then we're gonna take a look and see if we can drop it right down. Getting pretty close. Turn the soft, it's getting, it's getting annoying. Ooh, that looks mighty close. Am I right under it? Am I hitting the trailer? Uh, that looks pretty darn close right there. I'm gonna hit, set the e-brake. Let's see where she ends up. First look, first try in the backup camera. Oh, look at that! Look at that! We're directly right above it with a little bit of practice. Pretty well centered, but I could drop this right down. For a first try, that's pretty darn amazing. Okay, let's lower it down, see if she lines up. I might have to raise the hitch up. This truck sits a heck of a lot lower than my old vehicle. Hopefully we have enough clearance here on the tongue. We're a tiny bit off, but I bet you it's gonna slide in without any coaxing. There it goes, right on. But for the first try, that's pretty darn amazing. We hooked up the trailer all by ourselves, piece of cake. 
kind of amusing we're all hooked up here's my first load <laughs> it's bigger than the truck fortunately we're not going too far she's doing good Fortunately, I'm not going on the highway. This is a pretty uh, loose and sketchy load. We just have a roof, a couple pallets. We have a real heavy jack in there. I bet you this load's somewhere around a thousand pounds. The trailer, let's say, weighs a thousand pounds also. And believe it or not, I can actually feel it pulling. To see the new Tacoma build and follow the journey, watch the video right here.